What's up guys, Sniping as a have you here, and this is a Rustler build update, uh, number one. I know a lot of people wanted me to do actual build series, but uh, it's just, I don't have the time to be able to do that and record every move I did. Like I just, what I did right here, I did in probably about 30 minutes to assemble what I'm about to show you, and it would have been a hassle just to try and record all that and then speed it up and all that so here I'm just gonna show you what I've got done um, body of course and so the theme of this rustler as you saw from my parts unboxing is purple so that blue and yellow body is gonna go eventually but right now I'm going with uh, purple and silver probably for the silver aluminum um, so let's just see what I've got done right here Alright, we'll start. The back end was mostly what I've got done. We got the purple A arms. I got these purple caster block, or I mean hub carriers. Got the drive shafts all assembled. I got some, uh, I just got some blue aluminum hexes on there because I had laying around temporarily. I need to get uh, aluminum turnbuckles. I mean, not aluminum, I want to get the, the uh, stock steel ones because these plastic ones will only last so long. Once I start doing the speed runs that I want to do, um, so we've got the bumper slash wheelie bar right here, um, and then I got my shocks. These are the stock shocks. I took them apart and I did uh, 70 weight oil. And what else did I do? Oh, I used fuel tubing. Um, you've probably seen this in a couple other videos, I've used field tubing to uh, shorten them a little bit, as well as I did the front ones, right here. So I took them down quite a bit to get the center of gravity a little bit lower. And then, let's see, um, so yeah, I did that on both sides, I got the purple uh, arms and carriers, which look awesome, by the way. And here's the knuckles and front A arms which I will not be able to install yet because this key, most of these parts came from an older model stampede so the um, front arms are held in with e-clips and pins and I don't I'm not playing around with that shit it's a pain in the ass so yeah here in the front end we've got right now just got the bulkhead shock tower RPM body mount and uh, I got the just the stock uh, servo saver and bell crank in there and that's about it for this upgrade or update video um next update video i hope to have gotten the current generation slipper clutch because i'm not a big fan of this generation slipper clutch right here um plus i don't i just don't feel like figuring it out and then i hope to have gotten the front a arms the knuckles and I need to get some stock or not necessarily stock but just some current caster blocks because the older style did not use the same style of caster blocks um, and then from there hopefully and then update video 3 I will be able to hopefully have acquired a servo by then and then the idea is to have 17 millimeter hexes and GRP tires for speed runs and then I will have installed all of my electronics and it's ideally I hope this gets done in three update videos which could take anywhere from well today's February 15th I hope to have this thing doing speed runs by the beginning of June plus we got so much snow out there I won't be able to do a speed run even if I do get done early so yeah that's about it for right now thanks for watching write comment subscribe let me know how you think about all this and the purple and silver combinations I'm gonna be using and uh, have a great day